Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have broken below these previous lows here. And at this point, it looks very likely that we're going to target these even lower lows here at the 89.17. Technical indicators are turning around for um, the US dollar index. And uh, well, this should be an encouraging sign for, for indices and stocks, which have been absolutely hammered today. So um, yes, um, the same goes for, for gold and for commodities. They should continue rallying as uh, this uh, falls, as there's a negative correlation between the US dollar and commodities and precious metals. So let's look at oil. So oil just absolutely crushed it today. We got even, didn't even get close to the 20 exponential at 57.70. Uh, uh, we're trading at the 61.45 at this current stage. Uh, 65 is mostly our target. Goldman Sachs has a target of 75 for gold. And uh, yes, I probably, um, that sounds very high. But 61 also sounds extremely high for oil at this stage when the world economy is not doing very well and um, demand for oil is technically not the same as it was prior to the coronavirus. But we are still here. Um, break above this previous size that opens the door to 65. Technical indicators, they are very bullish at this point. But pay attention to the RSI. We are at 71. We are still overbought at this stage. Pull back to the 20 exponential. That is the safest uh, trade at this point. Uh, there should be a massive amount of interest around this area here if it, if it indeed falls towards this area and then rallies. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we did fall towards the 20 exponential and then re rallied. So very interesting. 20 exponential is uh, holding yet again, like it did here. And yes, that's basically twice that it has tested in the past. So at this point, we could rally up towards $3 again. If we take out these previous highs, then we could go to 3.5 or 3.25. Um, technical indicators, however, are looking fairly dreadful for, um, for natural gas. So break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50 at the 2.7. So let's look at copper. So copper went all the way up towards uh, 4.2 before breaking down to 4.13. So it has been a massive run all the way down from 3.5 uh, 3 uh, at this point. And we're also significantly overbought. So uh, pullback from 4 to 4, that is probably low. We could even go lower than that to around the 3.9. That's where we see that 20 exponential moving this way and also the previous highs here. So yes, we are in uptrend. Uh, it went very parabolical the last uh, few weeks. Um, and that basically means that it is going to see a pullback, which we have witnessed here. We are still way outside of the Bollinger Band. So pullback even towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, it is still also possible to 3.7. So let's look at gold. So gold is uh, doing what we basically expected it to do. It found support here and now it's rallying up towards the 20 exponential moving average. And we have done that also before. And then we basically broke down. If we do the same thing now, it is very likely that we'll go towards uh, 7050, which is right here, or down to 1700. We are in currently in a downtrend. We have a significant resistance line here if we do rally up towards this area then expect it to be sold to the downside uh, we also have a resistant line a support line here uh, we could break towards this area and rally up and go like this which we have uh, basically done uh, previously we can basically put it lower than this so if we if we get rejected here we go can go to 1750 we can also go all the way down to this uh, support line here around 1700 before rallying back to the upside. Technical indicators are uh, turning around and becoming bullish. So yes, if we break it below, 
above the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 50 at 1850. So let's look at uh, silver. So silver has also rallied today. Uh, we broke down on, on, on uh, Friday all the way down to the 50 moving average and rallied a very encouraging uh, candlestick on Friday. And today we are trading at uh, $28. Long-term target or medium-term target could say is for thirty dollars. Uh, technical indicators they are all turning around, so pullbacks uh, to the twenty and the fifty are at this point fair buying opportunity, as the fifty and the twenty have proven to be major support levels. Yes, let's look at platinum. Oops. Yes, so as you can see that we basically nothing really happened today. Uh, we did rally significantly the last few weeks, uh, broke down, and then we can uh, try to rally again. At this point, it is kind of likely that we are going back towards uh, 1200 or the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are turning around for platinum. We got fairly overextended here, so at this point, it is... Uh, it is very likely that we'll have a pullback. To buy it here is very risky. We are at uh, 80, uh, 68 in the RSI, it's on the edge of being our bot. So 1300 is uh, going to be a very tough uh, price level to get through, but pullbacks towards the 20 could offer uh, momentum enough in order to break those uh, resistant level. So let's look at Pallium. So as you can see, we did rally and then break down where we went all the way up towards uh, 2.42 and then all the way down to 2.36. We're still trading in sideways. We have the highs at 2.5 and the lows at 2.2. And uh, the best way to trade this is basically to buy it down in the, here in the lows or buy it, uh, sell it here in the highs. Technically, indicators, they are fairly bullish at this point. So we could um, continue up towards 2.5 at this stage. So let's look at aluminium, which had a massive day today. So we did break down the last two trading days, and today we rallied all the way up towards the 2.21.54. Uh, uh, Technical indicators are very bullish still. However, we are significantly overbought. So at this point, a pullback towards... Um, around um around to 21 um 2100 give or take that is probably as far as this will go 20 moving average will move this way 50 moving average will move this way and a pullback towards this area here offers a buying opportunity of 2 uh, 2200 so let's look at nickel So we did rally up towards uh, uh, 19,757 uh, and then break down towards 19,254 before settling at uh, 19,440. Technical indicators, they are turning around. Uh, probably the reason why is because we are overstretched and overbought at this point. So we'll pull back towards around 1,900. That's where... Uh, you'll see a lot of support coming in. Also, the 20 moving average will move this way. So I'll pull back around this area here in order to go higher. That is most likely what's going to happen. Something similar to this and then break the highs and then go further. To buy it here, uh, well, it's very, very risky because it is significantly overbought. So let's look at sugar. So also sugar had a massive day today. We're up roughly to four to five percent today, trading at 0 0.1866. Um, yes, at this point, it is going to fall back down. Uh, that is uh, very likely because look at this. We're just way outside of the bullish band, significantly overstretched. The RSI is at 78. So a pullback towards these previous highs here at roughly 0, uh, 17. Uh, 50 give or take that is where um, you'll most likely find a lot of support the 20 exponential move this way so it will probably gradually go something similar to this towards the 20 exponential before going higher 
we went a very parabolical the last few trading guys and moves like this similar to bitcoin and everything else they do not last they will be um, they will be sold into towards the downside so let's look at cotton so we continue to rally we are still just making higher highs we are almost at one here 0 0.9222 are we trading at we are on the rsi at 77 significantly overbought and uh, at the moment very overstretched but we have been here for the last two and a half weeks at this point it can basically fall at any uh, any point towards around these previous highs here which also will be where the 20 exponential will come in so pull back from here to the highs that is what i'm looking for uh, to buy it at these levels is is a uh, kind of madness um, because it's so overstretched and overbought so let's look at um, cocoa so as you can see most commodities precious metal did rally today and so did cocoa we broke the 20, uh, 200 moving average we broke the 20 exponential moving average and tested the middle of the bullinger band before break, uh, breaking back down we did not get to the 50 moving average. However, our technical indicators have come, turned around completely. And if you've been following my videos for the last uh, few uh, few months or a few weeks, I should say, then you would see I uh, would say the same thing. This is a fairly hopeless market to um, trade because we are basically in the middle of uh, 2.8 and the lows here of 2.2, uh, and we're basically in the red, right in the middle of things. So a really choppy trading all the way through. So it's completely pure gambling. Can go up, can go down. And uh, that is something I'm just not really interested in trading. So let's look at wheat. So also here, we did rally. We broke down towards the 20 exponential. And then now we rallied again. Technical indicators are becoming are very bullish for wheat. So pullbacks towards the 20 are basically buying opportunity. Break below to the 50. That's even better buying opportunity. So at this point, if we manage to break above these previous candlesticks here at the 666, yeah, uh, we will go all the way to the very top of 691. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.